Oh hi there, and welcome to Sculpture Studios. Now, here's a project with one of the very few items that we actually retain a mould for here at the workshop. We've been in contact with Claudia Del Rio from Roche Communications. Their client, a steakhouse chain called Bar & Block, are looking to zhuzh up three of their restaurants up in Edinburgh. We've put together a concept image, showing a cast of the cow shape that we have, superimposing their logo onto the side with a couple of different colour options. Now as lovely as this black cow would be, they're going for a big bold orange to really stand out. The mould, which is around 20 pieces altogether, is predominantly made from glass fibre, but it does have a couple of silicon rubber inserts for the awkward places like the udders and the underside of the neck. This mould needs a little TLC before it can be cast and laid into, making sure the inside is nice and clean, and making sure we've got all the pieces to begin with. The moulds joined and bolted together in various segments, waxed internally so that the casts can be easily released. We then go over all of the seam lines with the gel coat first, and this means that when it comes to gelling the entire internal surface, the seam lines have had a double treatment, and this will make cleaning them up easier later on. We're trying to bolt appropriate pieces together that will allow us to laminate as much as we can in one hit, while still actually allowing us to be able to get our arms inside. Once the surface has had a complete layer of gel coat, we go over this with a sturdy build-up of glass fibre. Two of the cows we're currently making are going outside, by which our glass fibre is suitable for outdoor environments, with the remaining cow going inside. The main difference with how these are being made is how these will be fixed down, or rather not fixed down. The two outside cows will have metal brackets installed under the hooves, and the inside cow a wooden base created. In order to finish joining everything together internally, we've created a trapdoor section on the underside of the belly. The less generously built of us, shall we say, can fit inside to laminate the remaining parts together before the trapdoor is bolted back on for good and fully sealed. Typically, we've had a cast of a cow sitting in our yard here for the best part of five years, and if you guys saw our farmyard flyer project video for Paulton's Park, you can see from that job that the clients liked the look of the cow when they came to the studio, they asked us to artwork this cast up for some more of their ride theming. Barely a few weeks later, after this cow of five years had left the yard, a job comes through the door with someone looking for three more of them. Typical, but hey, at least Claudia knows she's getting three cows brand spanking new. Simultaneously, whilst we're working on cleaning up the first cow, the mould is being re-prepped in the studio and the second cast is already underway. We're using car body fillers to touch in any areas that need reworking and we're sanding back the entire surface and all the seam lines. We're going to be giving these a semi-sheen finish, which is between a matte and a gloss, and we want to make sure the surface is to a really high standard. This will be primed, sanded back again and reprimed until we think this is ready for the orange coat. Now, nobody can say we don't go above and beyond for our clients, we really stretch ourselves and go that extra mile. The brackets that we're installing on the outdoor cows are being custom made and laminated inside the job. Every hoof and leg position is different, so the brackets have to be individually worked into shape to fit properly, and this will allow each leg to be staked down into the ground. 
When the majority of the surface prep has been finished, we go over with a grey car body primer. This way we can see what condition the surface is currently in and to know if the cow is ready for painting. Any areas that need more work are then re-sanded, re-finished and primed again until all three cows are well done, shall we say. Now right there, you see, I've just got staked, primed and well done all in the same paragraph. That right there is true... Actually, thinking back, I really could have chucked in a few more gags about joints or something like that. Ah! It's rare that I miss a joke opportunity. Okay, rare. I've redeemed myself. I'm back in the zone, back in the zone. Mudbug is going to have a field day. For the indoor cow, we're creating a wooden MDF base. This will be primed and painted black, with soft furniture feet added to the underside to protect whatever floor it's going to be placed on. So that the cow can't simply be pushed over, brackets are being installed inside the hooves once again, but purely internal brackets with bolts protruding from the bottom that can be secured through the baseboard. Prepping the cows for their final colours now, a white base primer once again, only this time with the car body orange going over the top. We're going for a semi-sheen finish so that these cows aren't too glossy or too plastic looking, but can still be cleaned and wiped down easily. Now, I'm going to jump the gun a little bit here before the end of the project video and let you guys know in advance that these cows went down particularly well up in the three Edinburgh locations. So much so that Claudia got in contact with us again to order another and another cow for the same steakhouse chain for Paddington, back down our way in London. We've had this mould for well over a decade now and it's proven itself time and time again to be a really good move for us to keep. These cows are a popular request, even just taking a look at our latest two projects, so it's been well worth us maintaining. Of course, there's only so much maintenance you can do, as moulds do have a life and eventually break down, and after a good 10-12 years or so, this mould has certainly seen better days. It's great that we've managed to get these last few cows out for Claudia and the Bar and Block Steakhouses, but without a doubt, it's definitely time for a new mould to be made, perhaps commissioned with the next set of cow orders in order to keep these going. Pete Frost from Stanford Signs, a staple part of the workforce when it comes to graphics and vinyl application, is effectively tailoring the flat, rectangular logo stickers to fit the 3D rounded shape of the cow belly. This is going to be applied twice on each cow, one on either side of the stomach. Well done, thank you very much indeed. Let's have a look. The double curve of the cow belly means that the logo needs to be split in places, heat warped into shape, while still retaining its legibility and not actually disfiguring the logo itself. As I'm sure you'll agree, Pete does a fantastic job on every one of our projects that he works on. We use a few local businesses for things like advanced metalwork or welding, water jet cutting and other specialised processes, so it's great to have the expertise of Pete from Stanford Signs just down the road from us as well. It's now time to get these babies wrapped up and on their way to Scotland. These are going to three different bar and block steakhouse venues in Edinburgh, all brought up in a single consignment. With the order of two more for Paddington down in London, we're making use of the rest of the mould, and who knows, the potential of a new mould later down the line, so let's see what happens. A big thank you goes to our client, Claudia Del Rio, for finding us in the first place, and for placing an order of, currently, five cows. We look forward to any more in the future. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true die-hard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>